What's up guys, Gim Zer and welcome back to episode number 67 of the Quantas Career Mode and today's episode we shall continue with the, the second week of the Giro d'Italia. If you've missed the first episode, I would highly recommend going ahead and checking it out, but if you have done so, let's go! And we are on the way for stage number 8 between Ponte d'Azzo and Fossombrone, 168 kilometers today, uh, with a hilly finish in e cappuccini, which is something I like to drink. Uh, but not after 2 p.m., right? Because I've I've been told you can't have a cappuccino after 2 p.m. when I was in Italy. I just don't know why. Uh, I'd have a cappuccino at 9 if I if I didn't care about my social status. Um, yeah, breakaway stage most likely. For those who haven't seen the GC, I will show it in a second. Bang! With Archie Run in P2, 2 minutes and 30 seconds behind Remco Venepo. Following the first and only mountain stage we've had so far. Um, yeah, should be more mountain in this episode with the Monte Zoncolan at the very end of the video. So, hopefully, we can do something decent as some riders are attacking and we'll try and join the breakaway with Finley Tarling. Honestly, Finley Tarling is so useful. Like, he's, he's very useful. It's a crash finish, for fuck's sake. Uh, back on the bike he goes. Uh, 23 riders left in the peloton as Finley Tarling got dropped by the breakaway. Well, I guess I have all of, oh, for fuck's sake, I don't have any reason to face. Archie Ryan just crashed. Our leader is on the floor. Just like Jennifer Lopez. Hopefully he can come back. He crashed with Jarl Meda and Ivan Van Vilda. I'm going to wait with Finny Tarling. I didn't like this stage already. I like it even less. But Archie Ryan is back in the zone and that's what matters. 22k to go. Three and a half minutes for the breakaway, who will, who will most likely fight for the win in I Cappuccini. It's a shame, because I definitely think Finley Tarling had what it takes to win it. We're starting I Cappuccini. Um, the start is very difficult. Actually, the entire climb is, is, is not easy. Uh, strong rhythm by Ethan Stone. Let's see what we can do. I don't think I can drop anyone, if I'm being honest. At least I, I can drop Max Ball, that's for sure. Fuck's sake, Max. Uh, I'm gonna swap these two, just for the sake of it. Ethan, don't kill Archie Ryan, please. Thank you. Very strong performance by Ethan Stone. And as a matter of fact, it's just Ethan Stone and Archie Ryan at the summit of Icapuccino as we head to Fonsombrone. Oh, Wilco Kelderman, why are you pacing? Why? Wilco, it's not your job for fuck's sake. I I'm literally getting sick because of this. Uh, the win is for the breakaway between Velasco, Perstrand Hagenus, Axel Zingle, Ivan Sosa and Yves Lampard. We are obviously going to root for Axel Zingle because that's France and, well, oui, oui, bonbon and that. Allez, Axel. Allez, mon ref. Allez. Allez, Axel, 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 Axel Zingle wins in Fossombrone. I never doubted him. Meanwhile, Ethan Stone and Archie Ryan are going to try and win a few seconds over the peloton. I would take any advantage on Remco Venepoel. I killed Archie Ryan. Cool. Uh, yeah, that's that's no gaps. That's that's no gaps. Good. P P six and P seven. It is some more medium mountain today between Fano and Carpegna. Three huge climbs. Uh, Di Monte Carpegna. Not once, not twice, but three times, and a finish in Carpegna. The very beginning of the Monte Carpegna. For those who have followed the, uh, the geographical thing um plus five for max ball zero for archie ryan and terrible downhilling that is exactly what i want to see from my leader as we start a mountain stage and breakaway is going completely mental and uh we're dead we gonna die 13 riders sprinting leo Pizio has 80 mountain hold up the main information i need to, proce to, to process here how the fuck is Leo Bizio? I am not having that. Uh, in the present, Max is doing well. Archie Ryan, not that much. Archie, if you can come back at the front, that'd be very, very good. I don't know if it's this climb. I don't think it is, but it looks a lot like the the one climb on Tireno that I hate. Uh, for those who've watched This Is Tireno episode. Uh, the one where I lost the GC because of the breakaway. It's very similar. I don't think it's this one. But... God, does it look similar. Um, Archie Ryan is dying. 
Like, there's no other way to put it. He's, he's literally dying. And I'm not a big fan of that. I'm not a big fan of that. One the way for the final climb of the Monte Carpena, our final ascension. Let's use the Jalanik Schultz. Um, I had him wait for the breakaway. Or for the leaders, I guess, because he was seven minutes behind, so there was no way he's going to take the stage. In Carapena, uh, let's reduce the rhythm a bit with Archie Ryan. 14 riders left in the first group. Um, the breakaway is eight minutes and a half behind, uh, sorry, ahead, so the win is on their side. Uh, we've dropped a favorite, that's Joan Mera, P2 this morning. And, uh, well, he got dropped. Uh, but then again, that's classic Joao Almeida. Uh, he'll most likely come back in three meters. My question is, where is Thomas Glog? Or where is Jan Christen also? Mostly Jan Christen. Oh, wow, he's drop, drop. Oh, wait. O'Connor and... Oh, shit. O'Connor and Van Wilder are far behind as well. Archie Ryan and Rem Kvenepoel are doing the best operation of the day today. Lubizio has won in Carpegna ahead of Jonas Gregor and Lorenzo Fortunato. Meanwhile, Max Ball has gone solo. Um, I, I had Archie Ryan in the wheel, but Archie just completely collapsed. And he was like, I am not following Max Ball in, uh, in, in this. Uh, so Max is going to get P4. And Archie Ryan will finish with Rem Kovenepoel, which is, I think, quite nice. Quite lovely. Love that. Cool. Uh, Max Paul in P4. P5 for Rem Kovenepoel. P... Oh, don't... Please don't put any gaps here. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Be nice. P8 for Archie Ryan. Oh, look. A stage that I will absolutely love. Because there's so much things to do. Final 7 kilometers. I forgot to press effort on Ethan Stone. Uh, also, speaking of Ethan Stone, I'm going to give this guy some praise. Uh, he's been having a constant plus 5 since I think we started this Giro. And I have not used him at all the way I probably should have, which is send him in the breakaway instead of sending Finn and Tarling. So the next time he has a plus 5 and there's a genuinely... Enough... Where are you going, Darren? I'm not pressing on the right, you, you, you... Okay, so he's decided to go to the right-hand side on his own. Fair enough, love that. Uh, Matthew Bostock has disappeared. But, I mean, are we even surprised at this point that my sprinters just don't know where the fuck to go? Because I'm not. There goes Max Paul, he's actually well-placed for once. Uh, it's a shame I'm not sprinting for Max Paul. The win today for Tobias Lund Andresen ahead of Jordi Meus. Dylan Renevechen is going to be a top 7 finish for Max Paul, my favorite position. Maybe top 9, actually. P8? P8. I wanted to send Ethan Stone in the breakaway, if he had a plus 5, he's got a plus 5, so in the breakaway he goes, he'll most likely be joined by Nick Schultz on this hilly stage between Este and Este. Um, the only bad thing, they start at the very tail end of the peloton, uh, so I'm gonna try and maybe control it for a bit, if I can, I can't guarantee it, especially with the road going up as soon as we start. Uh, I don't need space with Archie Ryan, don't need space with Max Paul. Uh, Darren can protect him, Finley Tarling is going to keep pacing to prevent some attacks, or well, hopefully that can work, and Nick Schultz and Ethan Stone will try and accelerate and find an opening as Jonas Gregor goes on a move with Adam Yates. It's quite a difficult stage. Um, more than you can believe. More than, more, more than you can believe. Uh, no, but realistically it's not easy because it keeps going up and down and as soon as the road goes up the roads are extremely narrow uh and the 42 riders left in the peloton the peloton never paced uh there's never been a huge rhythm increase but it's so steep and so narrow that like you get dropped i was part of some of the drops riders obviously i came back because well i mean i start to know how to play this game now but it's not the easiest of stages oh, sorry what for remco Rem Remco attacked. Hold up. I, I need to, to, to get a grip around this. Remco and Venipol attacked? Why? Why? Okay, Ma Max Paul was always third at GC-wise. Uh, Jean Meda 524 is the first non rider in my team. Okay, cool. Why, Remco? D genuinely, I need, to, I need to know. Just on the 20 kilometers remaining. Actually, just on the 15. Uh, we dropped Adam Yates in the breakaway. Which is good. Um, I thought about attacking in the third card, but there's still too many riders along me. Um, and some riders have teammates. You've got two UAE. Um, you've got two... Oh, no, you've got three UAE, sorry. Um, and you've got two Sky. So I figured that the timing just wasn't right to attack. But we will accelerate in uh, the Vial Belvedere. We need to maximize that plus five of Archie Ryan. In the breakaway, Nick Schultz is doing most of the job. Uh, mostly because he's got a great day. 
so he can afford to do some efforts as Jan Christen is attacking in the peloton. Interesting, interesting. Let's uh, make sure to uh, be or pay attention to what's going on. Nick Schultz is going to go 93. Ethan Stone will attack very shortly in the breakaway. And make sure to also check when the peloton enters the climb. It's going to be a left-hander. And then there we go as Ethan Stone attacks from the lead group. Hopefully it can be a solo run nowadays for the British rider. Jan Christen goes on a move. Max Paul attacks. And Archie Ryan will have to follow. Uh, Nick Schultz is going to wait for Archie Ryan. All right. Max Paul steps aside. Can carry on pacing like 70 or something. Okay, so sit rep. Ethan Stone's going to win the stage. Uh, I expected Archie to have a bigger gap, if I'm being honest. This is just... I'm, I've, I haven't dropped anyone. Realistically, I did not drop anyone with Archie Ryan. Um, actually, no, I did drop someone, and he's, he's called he's called Max Paul. Okay, well, that's our first chance at dropping someone. It did not work with a win today, and Este, for the first time in this episode, goes to Qantas, and it is going to be a first Grand Tour win for Eastern Stone in his maiden season. What a ride by the number 57. Meanwhile, in the peloton, no... Gaps whatsoever between the top contenders as Remco Venepol, Archie Ryan and Max Paul all finish at the same uh, position. Okay. I mean, we did drop Jao Almeida and Thomas Glog again. So I guess the gap will actually be six minutes nowadays. A very interesting stage today between Cittadella and Venegatsu. Uh, similar to yesterday in the sense that it's gonna be chaotic. But this time we add cobble to the, 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 the chaos. Because what's better than the stage without cobbles, right? Um, cool, 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 uh, GC wise, GC wise, 5.53 with Joe Almeida. Cool, love that. Um, Ethan Stone will go in the breakaway, just like yesterday. 1k to go until the summit of this climb. Uh, it's our third ascension of the uh, Presa 14. I'm gonna repeat myself. It's not easy. Because, <laughs> um, uh, first of all, I can't see shit with all these trees. That, that's that, uh, genuinely, that potentially is my biggest like, issue right now. It's the fact that my, 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 my vision is being obstrued by, uh, by leaves and green shit. And let's be honest, <clears throat> I've had enough. Right, it's fine. If we could like, cut down some of the trees just like for visibility, I, th I think that would be a good deal. Um, also, we've got a breakaway that could potentially on paper fight for the win. Yesterday we went for Ethan Stone, today we're going to go for Nick Schultz as uh, Ethan has actually collapsed. We're going to drag him back into the main peloton to help Max and Archie Ryan in their endeavours. Uh, but yeah, I think Nick has the legs to potentially win, but there's some good riders in the breakaway. And with the cobbles aspect, I think someone like Sh um, Quinn Simmons or Stefan Kung definitely has the edge over me. I'm, I'm sorry, I clicked on follow the attack of Stefan Kuhn because I anticipated the breakaway to attack and yet I'm still dropped because I, I my riders can't follow. It's a graph for Simon Yates in the peloton. It's fine, he was 17th this morning. Uh, is it a GNF though for the British rider? Yes, it is. Not good. Uh, Nick Schultz is going to come back on breakaway but I have no energy to win nowadays. For fuck's sake. I expected the attack. I clicked on follow attack and it did not work. Hi, um, editing Guillaume here. Bit of a mistake. Uh, <coughs> I kind of forgot to record the end of the stage and the start of the next one. Uh, Leo Bizio won set stage and nothing happened in the GC. And the next one, uh, well, you'll join, I think, with the final climb to go. Uh, yeah, the, the next seven minutes of the recording were just me singing Careless Whisper by George Michael. So I will not put that for your sake. Crash, Josh Tarling, uh, sorry, Finney Tarling has crashed with Remco Evenepoel. Um, is he back on the road? Oh yeah, he's, he's, he's ahead of me actually. Cool, well done. Uh, Ethan Stone has also crashed, but that's that's fine. He's made it work. Um, Bostock is dropped with Jordi Meus. Maybe, maybe Milram wants to drop someone because Matthew Bostock is not going to help 
Mr. Meus whatsoever. And we started the Paso Croceta for the final time today. The breakaway has a nine minutes lead. Uh, everything kind of slowed down after the first Paso Croceta, allowing the breakaway to get a decent margin with Romain Bardet, Hugh Carthy, Juan Pelopez, Adam Yates, Leo Bizio, Jonas Gregor, and Pablo Castrillo. Uh, Adam Yates currently being what? 10 minutes down now, GC wise. Uh, that would put him in P6 right now, P7, sorry. But I would expect the Peloton to accelerate and accelerate they have and dropped. I currently am, as Max Paul and Archie Ryan are seeing the mid part of the Peloton. And mid is not exactly where I want to see my riders. We decided to pace just a bit with Archie Ryan. Uh, the aim is not to drop Max Paul or anyone. I just wanted to see if I could potentially put a strain on someone. Uh, Thomas Glug and Jao Almeida are part of those riders. But it seems that Remco and Nepal is strong. Remco is yet to show any sign of weakness on this Giro d'Italia and uh, and he's attacked he's attacked but he's dead three riders from Team Sky two from Ash de la Mondiale uh, sorry four riders from Team Sky with Chicone and the um, uh, Campionissimo jersey very nice from them they serve no purpose as they are P10 in the GC but they're gonna make a great comeback here. Yeah. Joao Almeida is chasing Max Paul as Leo Bizio claims... Was that, is that his fourth stage? Third? At least three for sure, maybe fourth? Um, oh, Remco. Remco? Interesting. Did not expect to see Remco and Paul uh, go on the attack here uh, with three and a half K to go. But Max Paul is having a very, very good, good day. Uh, is, uh, I mean, actually, he's having a very good Giro so far. The best young Guada. The, the, the white jersey secured on his shoulders because I'm not seeing um, Jan Christen either. Good day at the office from the boys. No gaps, no no nothing, but uh, no crashes from Archie Ryan. And uh, we stay P2 as we win the sprint of the peloton and get in. Someone triggered his fitness peak and it's the plus five of Archie Ryan to crown that moment. Come on, son. Montez on Colan, 126 kilometers today, quite a short stage. Um, single plus three on Max Ball, who's starting to get tired as well. Um, to be fair, so, so is Archie Ryan, he's got mediocre fitness right now. Uh, but I need him to be good and to handle today's stage like a pro. Like I know he can, as Leo Bizio attacks for what could be his 73rd stage win on this Giro d'Italia. And we're starting the Monte Crostis for the first time today. And the only time. Uh, thank God for that. 12 kilometers at an average of 11%. It's not a nice climb at all. The breakaway is only 3 minutes in the lead. Um, due to me pacing. I really want to get that stage win. I really, really want to get that stage win. Now that Darren Rafferty is dead though, I have no one really to pace with, so I'm suspecting that the break, or that the lead for the break may increase. Um, Egan Bernal, Jonas Gregor, Matthias Jorgensen, Leo Bizio once again, Valentin Maloise and Calum Scottson with a chance to win, but it seems like the peloton, led by the UAE team of Richard Carapaz, may actually be willing to, to do something for, for once. We came back on the breakaway. Um, Max Polar Sturan doing very good. Archie is having a very good day. Um, it's Carapaz that killed most of the peloton. I'll just pace for three seconds. I just want to see if there's any sort of bubble from uh, from Renko Venable. Doesn't seem like so at all. Okay. Crash for Leo Bizio. Sadly, uh, he's joining Adam Yates, who got dropped with Van Vilda and Lenny Kemna. 45 seconds for the breakaway. Uh, Lenny Mart sorry, Dan Martinez is in the lead. But we're starting the Montezum Colan. <sighs> Alright, come on. I don't like this climb. I fucking hate it. But I really want to win. Stellar job by Ethan Stone today. Uh, I, gotta, I gotta say, he's been absolutely glorious. Oh, Remco slightly at the back here. More than I usually see him. Uh, maybe he's just trying to stay with Jan Hertz. That could be a thing. Or maybe he's just trying to stay with Archie Ryan. That could also be a possibility. 5.7k, and we're entering the very difficult portion of this Montezon Colan. Then again, is there an easy portion on this climb? I do not know, I do not think so. Remco, I don't think Remco's good. I don't think Remco is having a good day. I think Remco may lose a few seconds today, as the peloton, or the lead group, should I say, stretches and stretches, to quote JB Schofield, 
That's that's if you if you get that reference to come on, because that's that's an obscure one. Archie Ryan, Max Paul leading a group of nineteen riders in which we still find the Maglia Rossa, but towards the tail end of that group. I'll increase the rhythm a bit to seventy-seven. Wes Remco, he's still here alongside Fausto Masnala. He's coming back a bit. He's coming back a bit. Uh, I don't have the energy to attack. That's for sure. I'll use my gel. Okay, no, he's good. Remco is good. Fausto Masnala put one acceleration to bring him back, and he's good. Believe me, Remco Venepol is not here to 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 put socks on Senti. He's done. Remco's on. Remco. 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 2.2k to go, Remco Evenepoel is out of the running for the stage win, Archie Ryan on his way to potentially win a top de Montes on Colan, Archie Ryan, Thomas Gluck, Thomas Gluck is dead, so Simonar and Sman to win today at the Montes on Colan for the Irish King. Forget about Conor McGregor, the real Don of Ireland is named Archie Ryan and he wins the top de Son Colan today. What a performance by the leader of Qantas. I wanted to win. And I fucking won. Come on. He's done well, but for the first time, he showed weakness. And it's going to be a 1 minute 50 deficit for Remco Evenepoel and Archie Ryan. With the bonus seconds, that means 2 minutes 20 seconds will separate Archie Ryan and Remco Evenepoel heading into this final week. One failure is all it took. The gap is 22 seconds between Remco Venepol and Archie Ryan. Thomas Glog has lost, sorry, Thomas Glog has taken P3 ahead of Max Paul, who still has more than five minutes on Jan Christen for the white jersey classification, not the best white classification, shall I say. Um, it's not bad, it's not bad. We've recovered well. This was the one stage I wanted to win. Now we got the win. In the next and final episode of this Giro, we will have a hilly stage, another mountain stage in Cortina d'Ampezzo, another mountain stage in Trento, but it shouldn't be too difficult. Uh, a hilly stage in Livigno, another mountain stage at the Mortirolo for the final summit finish, sprint stage and a 31 km time trial, which is the one thing that scares the shit out of me, because there is no way I could lose, well, I could not lose to Remco Venepoel. I lost two and a half minutes on the first time trial, and that was with a hill, and it was 25 km. 31 km, I'm expecting a three minute loss. So I need to do great things in the upcoming stages, but if you want to see them, then do feel free to do this. I don't know if you... But if you want to see them, then do feel free to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. And I'll catch you in the very near future. My name is Gim. Have an amazing day. See ya. Pass me the funk, get your funk on, girl, and don't you ever let